Good day everybody. Uh, in this video I want to show a little bit how we can use Excel uh, to take some of the tables that our commander will produce for us and use them uh, inside of Excel where they're a little bit easier to do additional calculations on. Okay, so first things first we need to get our data into our commander. So we're just going to take our data, we're going to copy this data and we're going to put it in. So this is kind of in a probability section. We've got a whole bunch of categorical data that we are dealing with. And we want to make a contingency table. So I've imported the data and we can view it real quick and it's the right stuff, which is good. And what I want to do is I want to say basic statistics, descriptive, make a contingency table and do it two way. I need to pick a row and a column and I'm just going to click OK on that one. And as you can see here, we have this nice little kind of frequency table or maybe a contingency table uh, that we might call it. But if I want to do like additional calculations in here, uh, we either need to know uh, quite a bit more programming, which I'm not going to make you do, or uh, we need to put this into Excel, into a different tool that we can use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this frequency table and I am just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into Excel. Okay, now the button clicks that we do are actually really important. So when I paste this into Excel, what it does, if you notice there's this green little square, so where that green square is when you paste something in Excel or rectangle, uh, that is where your data has been pasted. And what hasn't happened is I want each of these specific numbers to be in an individual cell. And it hasn't happened yet. Now, I've been very careful not to click so that they, this stays highlighted. Now, what I can do here is I can do, I can force it to put this data into individual cells. So what we're going to do is we click on this little tab called data and we say text to columns. So I've got text. I want to put it in columns. So I'm going to do text to columns. There's a couple ways that we can do this. Uh, I can do it with fixed width. And if I click next on my fixed width, uh, it puts in these individual lines. Now, sometimes it gets it really well and sometimes it's really bad. In this one, we have a whole bunch of extra and we're missing one. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to get rid of, actually, maybe not get rid of, just move it over that guy and all you have to do is you click on the little arrow and you can move it i'm going to move that one over there whoops too far uh that's too far too there we go right between tech and neutral i want to get rid of this one if i want to or i guess i want to get rid of this one if i get rid of something you just double click on the little triangle spot and it will disappear if i want one to show up i can double click or just do a single click and it goes like that so that would work um, there's another way that we can do it. Um, most of the time I use the fixed width, but we can also use what's called delimited. And they can say like we can use spaces or commas to separate our fields. And if I do that, uh, so tabs didn't work, I could try a semicolon, I could use comma, I could use space. And it tried to do it, but it kind of did a bad job at it. So anyhow, the way that I like the best is fixed width and I'm going to have to fix it all over again. That's okay. We'll click one right there. Get rid of that one. Oops. And I have them in my individual categories now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. And this looks good. We're just, I'm just going to leave it alone and I'm going to click finish. And now if you notice, on each of these, each of my numbers is in an individual spot. So that is very useful because now I can do things like, maybe I want to know the proportion, proportion of good responses in Google. Okay, so I could just look at the Google numbers and remember, we can do our equation. So we can just say, okay, there were a total of 13. So I can just click on the number 13. I don't even have to type. I can just click on 13 and I can do divided by, oops, not question mark, divided by. 
and I want to look at all the Googles, so I'm going to sum all the Googles, and you can just kind of click and drag on that. And that will give me the proportion of good responses who worked for Google, and there were about 22% of their employees uh, who did this survey responded uh, that they had a good response. So this is a way that you can use Excel to take a table instead of having to like manually type in all these numbers um, into like a calculator or something that you can quickly put the table into Excel and then do your calculations here and which also helps show your work. So when you submit this Excel file, uh, I can quickly look at your work and give partial credit if needed. So that is how we do our uh, kind of using Excel uh, to, um, to use some of the tables that our commander provides us.